Okay, right now I'm going to show you some like basic, basic tools. Um, rotate, how to rotate a photo, how to crop a photo, and um, these are all important tools to know because you are going to be using them a lot in this class. So what you want to do is open your image. I already opened mine. Find your folder. Mine's in my El Mopoli folder. Okay. All right, and I'll just open that. Okay, it's already opened. Remember, you can also drag and drop from your desktop onto this little Photoshop icon right here. Okay, that's another way that you can do this. So basically, you're going to go into Image, Rotate Canvas, 90 degrees counterclockwise if you want to go left. If you want to go forward, you got to go clockwise. Okay, and here we have one of the, you know, one of the few instances you can use flash is when it's pitch black outside, okay? So obviously this photo was taken outside, pitch black, and what I want to do right now is just do my usual image adjustments, okay? Remember what the shortcut is, Command L, okay? The levels are all right, you're going to bring it over so it meets the peak, play with the highlights a little bit. Maybe you want to keep this background a little darker and you would really want the focus of the photograph to be on the center, okay? So you can just, just you know, figure out what you want to do. If you go all the way this way, look what happens. Look at all that noise you get. You don't want that. Just remember to stay in the middle. I'm going to make it a little lighter. The highlights in her dress look good. Nothing looks too washed out. I'm going to make it a little darker. We get some rich blacks in there. Okay. Alright, what else can we do? We can crop, okay? Sometimes, now if you want to bring, if you want to look at the rule of thirds again, real quick, okay, bring down these to help you out, give you a little bit of a guide, alright, alright, now with this photo, we see everything is centered, okay, we always really want to try to push things a little off centered. One thing that's distracting me in this photo is this car here. Okay, we have this guy back there too. So maybe what we should do is we're going to take the crop tool right here. And you're going to be able to select an area. Um, generally, you want to keep it 8 by 10. Okay. And you don't want to crop like this. I know a lot of you are like cropping like that. This is what's going to happen if you crop like that. You can't do that. So remember, go to Edit Undo Crop. Okay, add it on do. You can use Command Z. I'm just going to crop a little bit. And I'm just going to crop that car out of there. Okay, look what happens. Everything's kind of shifted over a little. Now, the point of interest now is, of course, on the bride. And that's what we wanted. We want the interest to be on the bride and groom. Okay, um, and if you're, it's a photo of a subject, if it's a subject of a, of a plant or a car, okay you gotta think about what is the set, the point of interest why are you taking the photo what are you focusing on what do you want to say Okay. in this photo I want to show how happy these two people are together so I'm going to think of a way how to focus in on that um, another thing that possibly could be distracting to me is up here Okay. maybe you want to go in and remember we talked about cloning go back in remember how to clone take your cloning tool Control, Shift, okay, Option, click, go over that area. Now remember, the opacity is too low. You want to go and increase that a little bit. Okay, increase that to probably 75. Look at that. Say goodbye to the traffic light. Okay, I gotta I'm gonna increase it a little more. Go to 85. Remember to practice with this. It takes a little bit of learning, a little bit of practice. Option click. Select the area you want to use. Powder puff over. Okay, looks a little uneven over here, so maybe I'd go over here and sample some color. Maybe the opacity is too high. Okay, these are some of the things you have to think about. So I'm just cloning over. Maybe I'll just lower it just a little bit more. Okay, that's one thing you can do for the cloning tool. Um, 
like I said, these are one of the only instances that I use a lot of, I use flash at night, of course, so you can, um, you know, get catch more detail, use flash at parties, but definitely try not to use flash when you have, like, great daylight out, okay? So that's one of the things, so you learned how to rotate, you learned how to use a rule of thirds um, in Photoshop, and you learned how to use your clone tool all in one. So these are the steps that you're going to start remembering to use as you're looking at your photograph. Okay? And that's it for this lesson.